Ben Grimm all fighting for number two. Uh, but he's going up against Video Game Bootcamp's very own Red. Red, there's not much we, can, we can't say about Red. The guy is one of those people that's a bit of a chameleon. Uh, he plays multiple characters at a high level, including Fox, Marth, some Falco, some Sheik. He's been doing extremely well in the MDVA region that's been revitalized recently by players like Chillin, Chudat. Too bad. Um, He's an extremely good player. He is. And we're going to see you know, what he's capable of now. Um, he's kind of looking for his big breakout on a national. Yeah, I'd and say he's one of those up-and-comers. You know, like he's almost there. Almost right. there. He and this is a loser's bracket fight. I don't, even, I don't even think this is loser's finals. Wow, this is bracket. Wow. So, loser's bracket. So, two out of three in this pool. Okay. Still going to be a pretty exciting match. Oh, definitely. Um, ben Grimm is no stranger to playing Fox. Of course, I mean, I mean the, Cody, Animal. Right, those are his rivals. He, yeah. he plays the Fox matchup extremely often. Uh, I even heard he's done some training with some legends in Long Island, such as from the TSA New York days, we're going back six, seven years. Wow. Players like Demon and Ahadra P. Wait, well they still play? Occasionally break it out. Wow. But, but yeah, let's get right into it. It looks like. Red is just going to go up for those platforms. Good stuff right there. Anytime a Peach is going to down smash your shield, if you shield DI appropriately, you can get a wave shine out of shield, punish. And if Peach gets wave shined, that can lead to an up smash. That can lead to a grab into an up throw up air or bear. And Big damage. I hate to say it, but the first move Ben Grimm threw out was a down smash. Yep. I mean, of course, you know, you never want to strip from your bread and butter, but you have to know when to use it appropriately. Let's hope he's just doing that maybe to condition his opponent into thinking that he's going to keep tossing that out and then mix him up. Let's see. We'll see. I've, I've been one of the guys from the you know, his mix-up game definitely needs work on the offensive edge. But we'll see what he's learned if he can approach it. Ah, good see, stuff by there. Red. Red, Red baits it out with yeah. the jump. He waited, and he punished him accordingly. Good stuff. Wait and bait. And again. 22%. And he's still going. And I hate to say it, but Cody and Animal, as talented as much potential those guys have, I doubt that they are way shining out of shield those down smashes. So Ben Grimm definitely has to be in a weird state of mind saying, how do I, what, huh? <laughs> Whenever you fight somebody who punishes something that you use a lot, oh my goodness. It's, it's always rough. When yeah. you have to stray from your bread and butter. Nah, he's going to have to look into his bag of tricks. Hopefully he has more than just down smash. All right, he gets a down smash here. Tries to see if he can get that edge guard. Yeah, I probably would not have opted for a back air there. I mean, he was a bit too low to get with maybe a nair to reach a little bit higher. But yeah, or even possibly do what Armada would do. Grab a turnip, toss it while he's high above the edge, and then intercept him as he's low with the upbeat. Ben Grimm gets a grab. Nice. Yeah. He's off stage. Yeah. Recovering straight. Good stuff. A lot of players would opt to recover straight high, and Ben Grimm notices that and goes straight for it. Tries to intercept. Well, the thing is there, I think that Red was trying to condition him. He might have been looking to... Just go ahead and go straight down to take ledge. True. But the way that Ben Grimm came into that, uh, he was actually able to probably cover both options there as he gets a term go shined out of him. Yep. And yep. again, you know, he's just getting punished really, really hard, Ben Grimm. And the other thing too, one thing, one reason why a lot of spaces would opt to recover high against Peach is because her jump isn't that quick. Oh, not so, at all. Yeah. If you I opt mean, to go for top platform, me. we've known yeah. that her Peach, that we know Peach's jump isn't that fast in Super Mario Brothers 2. <laughs> <laughs> what Ben Grimm bringing it back. Top platform. See? That and double jump. Oh, in time, yeah. Yeah. And a crouch cancel because your approach is Opportunity! But wasn't enough. Center stage is his. Good stuff. Nice. He a pair of up smashes. He's basically saying if you approach on the ground, you approach through the air. Either way, I'm throwing an up smash. And if it hits, you're done with the stock. Wow, this is scary stuff right here. Good stuff by Ben Grimm, respecting those back airs. And Red, Salvation Army stock right yes, there, sir. just gives it away. You know, he was throwing out a couple of back airs, pressuring him. And then he just walked to center stage, expecting the roll towards the middle. I mean, who wouldn't, be, who wouldn't do that? You know what I really like, what Ben Grimm did over there? As Red was far away and just like dash dancing, Ben Grimm dash danced a little bit, then he realized, why not just grab a turnip, you know? Right. How smart. You have to, especially against Peach, there's two ranges that you really want to be aware of. Uh, the range for an immediate dash attack, or the range that she wants that she can uh, grab a turn of and you can punish her for. And of course, you know we're talking about MDVA. Peach is like DOH, Doll, 
are fantastic from that region. So oh, yeah. he definitely knows yeah. this. He definitely has to know this matchup in order to drive there. Good He's getting stuff. up there into it. So uh, uh, one thing I noticed a lot there was that Ben Grimm was showing his hand a little too early with those grabs and those down smashes. Like in the, uh, at the onset of the match, just tossing out a lot of down smashes. Red noticed that and just immediately punished. And there were a couple times right there where Ben Grimm was just running at him and just going for grabs. Every time Red approached his shield and applied a little pressure, he would try to grab. Against Spacey's, you kind of have to respect him because they could do a late nair into a shine. And you can't grab punish a fox who's on point with their tech That's skill. Still right. Yeah. The shine is one frame and has invincibility. You have to respect Fox when he approaches. You and have a role. You can do it again. Yeah. You can do it again. You can do it again then. And then again. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Good stuff by Ben right there. Yep. And Red just paying attention to the spacing. He's saying, hey, yeah. I'm all the way across the screen, but it's fine. I'm going to attack him percent anyway with the lasers. Oh, like, very, very wow. J-Man-esque. Mm. Of course, you know, we've seen plenty of this matchup with J-Man and Man, so. Crouch nice tech. tech, though. Yes. Um, one thing that some players will do is if, that, if they're in high percent, they'll actually crouch cancel the, the down smash mm -hmm. and then release the second one. That way they yeah. get tossed back towards center stage. That's right. Smart stuff. I learned that from PC Chris way back in the day. Anyway. Wow! wow. Wave shine twice turn and around. then you turn around You're and then turn around twice in the middle of it. Oh, and there we go. Charity once again. I mean, he's, he's a very, very gracious person, as you can tell. <laughs> Probably pays his taxes early, too. See, and the back throw there to mess with. Dash attack? No. Instead, Ben Grimm tries to go and take center stage. But Red tries really, to take it too. His turnips really aren't uh, threatening too much, and now we're seeing the chain grab game that Ben Grimm has been working on. Let me tell you one thing how easy it is to actually do that, though. Peach doesn't even need to jump cancel those grabs. Oh, no. Her dash grab is as fast as her standing grab. So, yeah, it's relatively easy. Comes out in about seven frames, I believe. Nice nair out of shield from Ben Grimm. You know, he's working really hard becoming a more complete player, and we're seeing some of the fruits of that labor here. Reverse up smash, and also a lot of players forget that. Fox's head during some frames does have invincibility on it, yep. so. And I really like what Red did while, um, good stuff, good stuff by Ben Grimm getting that punish. But yeah, he's always keeping his back to Ben Grimm every time Ben Grimm is approaching with his floats. It's really smart. Yep, he's looking to just counter with the back air. I've never seen Ben Grimm try to go for a wave dash back down smash. That's something I usually see a player from his area, Alejandro P, usually yes. do whenever they're facing spaces. Yep, Good court. Yes. Wasn't enough though, he should just take a ledge. Good up but throw. The patience. And expecting the, hmm? expecting uh, just a normal attack to be thrown out. Just approaches with a grab. Ooh, he's not low enough to to hit him with the down smash. And it's extremely ugly on this stage, especially when the platform is falling. It just gets turned to the blender. <gasps> I, do you agree with that? You know with what? that down throw? Yeah. You know, I think Ben Grimm might realize that Red is just extremely good in the matchup. You kind of have to scumbag your way out sometimes. Try different things to throw your opponent off. I, yeah. mean, I, I don't agree with it. It's not the optimal choice. But it's not always the optimal choice that works. And we know a lot of players that thrive on that. One, one thing I really like from Red that he does too is if he ever does block. Beautiful stuff right there. Good combination. I think actually this is it. Um, for those players that are trying to you know get better at the matchup, whenever you block a Peach's fair, uh -huh. you don't want to deal with the mix-up afterwards. Not so what Red did on his last on Ben Grimm's last talk was he rolled out of there and just reset the situation. Right. He just go back to the neutral game. Yes. You know, it's something that Justin Wong always says, you know, blocking is and evasion.